getting the painting done this morning. Last week, we were not able to finish this build because we had to focus our attention on the basketball court since we had terrible rainstorms. Now we can put our attention back onto this terrace. Yesterday, I was just grinding everything off, cleaning off the metal. Yeah. This morning, we are up. A couple more things to do on this front deck. Once that is done, we can then focus on putting the poles up for the bigger decks. Yep. Zule is doing a fantastic job painting. It's coming out. Oh, you missed a spot. Huh? <laughs> the last thing before we put on the deck boards is that the joists, these are our two meter 30 joists. What I've done is I've just measured 30 centimeters on each pole all the way down. It's gonna make it 10 joists. Just gonna put it on there, clamp it down, weld it in, maybe do two, and then Zulu's gonna come and paint and then we work our way down. I think it looks great. Yeah. That's good. Good black. Now we don't have two. Yeah, exactly. The hardest part is probably the steps. We yeah, yeah. Still have to do steps on that side over there, and we're gonna have to yeah, do steps that's, on that that's, side over there. It's a bit smaller, so yeah, half the size. Yeah. Nice to have it done. Now yeah. we have two more decks to build. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh yeah, oh. twenty-four, three legs. <laughs> twenty-four, three legs. <laughs> Finally got that done. It took a bit longer than we expected, of course. Yeah. Doing it for the first time, you overthink everything, but you want it to be perfect. And I think it turned out great. It's really strong. It's gonna, yeah. it's gonna last. We're waiting on our deck boards. They haven't arrived yet. While we are waiting on our deck boards, we're gonna start construction of our seven and a half meter by five meter deck. That is one step down on this side. What we need to do over the next few days, Yeah. We're going to try to get as many of the poles into the ground mm. and concreted and ready. And then once we have those poles in the ground, concreted, then we can come put on the sides, yeah. clear everything off again, run the... Redo again. <laughs> yeah, run the poles across, yeah. do the joists, spray everything down. Plus we're going to do some pergola on this side and maybe on that side. I think today <laughs> is more going to be planning, so maybe yeah. we get a little bit done today mm. and then tomorrow morning carry on, carry on. Mm. as long as it doesn't rain no, which hopes. you never know so many calculations this hole is a little bit wrong it's a little bit short compared to the other holes so we have to dig out a little bit by hand and it's going to get this level then you measure from the ground to the top and then we have a we know how how high to cut the pot. Top or the bottom? Bottom. 186. Hi. What happened? It started to rain, so we had to pack everything away. There's a thunderstorm on its way again. So I think we're going to just call it for tonight. Just in time with flame. Hopefully tomorrow we can pick this up. <gasps> I love it. But it's not been work, but Scary. I love it. Scary! <laughs> okay, let's pick this up tomorrow. Okay. We have just been mulling over exactly how we're going to tackle this. Mm -hmm. What we have decided to do is to tackle the outside first so we can get everything nice and square. square. Then we can do the cross beams in the middle. So we've actually just cut a piece, which is exactly five meters. Mm -hmm. We've leveled it out. We've cut a piece on this side with at least one meter extra on top, which is going to be for the, the railing. <laughs> we've squared everything off, leveled it off. We're going to just tack weld it, and then we're going to go on the next piece mm -hmm. so we can have this nice triangle. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a little bit secure. And once we have that one, we can then put in the holes in between and we can concrete it up and then we can move on to the next square yes. corner. It's a little bit different on the last four poles because we're actually going to have a custom pergola that we're going to build as well so we need yeah. to have much higher poles on that side but we're yeah. going to get the poles in for now.
we took this long pole out which is going to be the corner for this pergola system and the reason that we're doing it like this is because this is 770 these poles are seven meters so we're going to have a split in between so that's why we're doing it here this is not square all these holes since we used an auger that only has a 15 millimeter diameter the holes are not big enough so there's no there's no leeway we need at least five to ten more centimeters on each side of these holes so we can come out a little bit so a bit of a pain we're gonna have to dig some of these holes out by hand but we'll crack on with that and once we've done that we can start assembling and moving along that's gonna put us up two hours baby Dear man. Okay. <laughs> Manual labor. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Last? Let's hope so. Yeah. Let's hope so. Did it. Last hole. Holes are dug. Gravel is in. Let's try that again. Take two. What we've done now is we have clamped this pole in, we have clamped this side in, we've made this one as level as we can, the distance from this pole to there and from this to there is exactly the same and we've also done a 3-4-5 method on here and made sure that this corner is square. That corner is square, this corner is square, everything is equal which means if we just keep on going by the time I get there that'll be square too. So that's the hope, that's the plan. We put this in and then we moved up. Timmer. Timmer. Welding time. kind of complicated without putting the concrete in the poles are very like this so to get it all lined up is kind of tricky but we'll get everything set before we put the concrete in but at least we got the two main poles in we have pretty much got the whole outside done on that side as well everything is square everything is level we're really happy uh, we have these we have these two poles one two high ones these are going to be for the pergola one pole we need to put it in here which is going to be one meter high and two poles here which is going to be a meter high we would love to do the other poles on the side but we just noticed that the holes are not lined up we need to take away two or three centimeters on each side we need to dig those out but i think we're going to start with this and then we're going to carry on with that tomorrow and get everything concreted up but i think we've done good progress today baby yeah really good this actually was a bit tricky, but in a different way. Yes, we're cracking on with this. Get this side done. Yay! Oh! Hi. Look. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello, Stuart. We got the main outside pot finished off. Tomorrow we'll come pick this up and finish off the last pieces. Yeah. But really glad. It's uh, much bigger than we thought it would be. Yeah, much higher. <laughs> okay, go run. Now we're just gonna spend the evening with the family. Yeah. We're gonna make some sheshlik. Really, really great to have this done. Actually, it comes to picture. Yeah, exactly. You get to see what it's gonna look like. Yeah. And what we're gonna do on it. <laughs> This morning, all I was doing was extending those holes because they were a little bit too small. There are three holes on this side, three holes on the other that I've extended. I've cut the poles, cleaned them and got them ready. Zula has actually head off to the market to pick up some more metal as we will be short for this project. So while she's away, I have these three poles. I'm gonna get them lined up, tack them into place. We have a big day today. We want to see how much we can get done, but it's looking nice. What I have just been calculating before I weld this so I don't make any mistakes. We have five poles, just trying to find the correct spacing in between them based on the holes that we've dug as well. 110, 134, 134, 110, and it'll look perfect and mostly it'll work with the holes so I don't have to dig it all up. It works this side, it works with all holes, it works that side. I'm happy with it. Let's tack it into place 
and move on. Doodle has arrived back with some more metal so we can get back to work, even yes. though it's a bit late. How's my job so far? Yeah, it's really good. It took a lot of calculations to get it yeah. absolutely correct. Now I need to sit down and calculate all the floors. Yeah, exactly. How many floors we need. Yes, a lot. Will be nice. What we're working on now, since we finished out uh, outsides, is we're working on the cross beams. We're going to have three cross beams, basically from each one of those poles. The way we're going to tackle it is that we're going to have to join two together. One is about four and a half meters, the other one is three meters something. So we're going to alternate as we're going back. Once we have all this welded in, we can then put in the extra posts before we put on the concrete. I think that's the easiest way to tackle it. We put on bracing on each side so we can hold it in place and weld it. So that's, that's how we're going to tackle these three columns. Yeah. All right. Let's okay. see if it works. Yeah. I think it works. <laughs> I look terrible. Yeah. You always look great. Yes. <laughs> got the first row done. We have two more still to do. We at least got to put some concrete in the first ones. We actually got a concrete mixer. If you missed the last episode, we had a bit of a disaster with the weather last week. Yeah. While we were pouring our concrete slab for our basketball court, it just poured down. We had to fix it, but now yeah. we need to do a top coat on that to really level everything out. Yeah. So we're going to do that tomorrow and finish all this off. We've got a busy day tomorrow, but we're cracking on. We're trying to get as much done as possible. Yes. We have some major, major future projects coming up, so we need to get this project done yeah. as soon as possible. Good morning. Back doing concrete again this morning because of the disaster we had with the concrete slab and the rain. We're putting a top coat, maybe about two or three centimeters on the basketball court. And also besides that, since we have the machine till about five o'clock, we want to get this finished off. Plus we're going to jump over there in a second and get the next two rows of poles, get that all welded in so that we can use the concrete mixer to fill up the holes. And we need to do all of this by five o'clock. So crazy busy day, we crack on. Any better? We're just over halfway and then this takes two hours to do it and there's like the one more hour that they need it. <laughs> It is great. The whole family's putting together, getting this job done. <sighs> Concrete. Good job, baby. A good job too. Good job. Let's go. Today actually, actually, was like for me, it's just exhausting. Day. Never ever complain about it. <laughs> but today, so I mean, we too you, much. you know, guys, we we've had quite a few projects and building, building the greenhouse. Yeah. 
but doing things like this concrete and metal work is exhausting. Oof. It is so dirty, it is so tiring. And then look at them. We it's have like a concrete just, shower. <laughs> yeah, I'm absolutely yeah. No, no more energy today. No. But we still have a lot of work to do <laughs> to get this finished. Yeah, yeah but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really fun, but a lot of hard work wow. doing, doing this project. We still have a lot to do, but I know at the end it's going to be well worth it since we have some really exciting things mm -hmm. that we want to do on, on the deck. That's why we're having the size and we will share that with you later. Yeah. We are absolutely done this week. We can't do any more. We're just going to crash, spend some time with the family and we will pick this build up next week. We have some exciting things happening next week, but we'll share that on the next video. <laughs> okay guys, Tima. thank you so much. We mm -hmm. love you so much and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Good night. Love you. <laughs> Hat issue. <laughs>